anybody. I just, I cannot hear anybody. So, and I cannot see you again. Um, so please um, be a little patient. If Ms. Lori can uh, tell me out to any participant that want to participate, I really appreciate it. Um, as you, as you know me before, uh, my name is Laura. Now I changed my last name to Colin, so uh, now I am Laura Colin. Uh, today we are going to talk about snacking. Okay, I know everybody has the opportunity to have delicious, but not too much nutritious snacks at home. So today we are going to talk about healthy snacking and how we can improve um, our health with the nutritious meals and nutritious snacks. So now, give me one moment because I cannot move my screen, okay. So the University of Florida is an equal opportunity institution, and that means that we include everyone in our community. Welcome everyone. Again, my name is Laura Colline. Today we are going to participate and we are going to learn uh, very uh, important items like healthy snacking. So what are we gonna do today? We are going to talk and we are going to learn from each other about healthy snacks. We are going to watch a video in where we are going to learn how to make uh, homemade snacks and how to choose foods to make healthy snacks and how I would like that you later on today decide that you are going to incorporate any of the healthy snacks that we are going to learn today. So many of us, we have kids at home, maybe or maybe not. But I would like to think, what is your favorite, favorite snack? Miss Laurie, which one is your favorite snack? Can anybody tell me what is your favorite snack? My favorite snack is ice cream. Oh, delicious, delicious. I love and it, I love it. You can tell that I eat ice cream. <laughs> and what flavor do you like, Miss Lori? Which one is your favorite? Um, Butter pecan. Oh, delicious, delicious. I know how it is. And guess what? Ice cream is a healthy snack. However, we have to be careful with the um, sugars that are being added to the ice cream because ice cream, it belongs to the dairy food group. But when we eat too much is the time that it becomes not too healthy. So we need to learn how to read the uh, food labels in order to know how many sugars are being added to that ice cream. You can make a healthy ice cream frozen in your yogurt. You can read the label in your yogurt in what it says, for example, is made out of natural fruits and is no sugar added. So to me, my favorite snacks is any vegetable with a light um, or fat-free uh, ranch dressing, and it could be broccoli, celery, and carrots. As well, I like apples, oranges, tangerines, and they are healthy snacks. Why I like it is because I have some digestive issues and I choose uh, to try to eat uh, very healthy to, you know, to improve my condition, my health condition. So for many of us that we have kids, they usually like things like chips, popcorn, and all the packed snacks. And the important thing in here is that if we are the, uh, the people who purchase uh, groceries in our home, we need to be careful with the snacks that we bring at home. Because if you have all that fries, chips, cookies, 
cakes that are delicious. I understand they are delicious, but not too much nutritious. If we have that uh, choices at home, guess what? Our tendency is to try to eat them, okay? We need to try to avoid that tendency. I don't say never eat it. No, I say once in a while, okay? Because they are not too healthy choices. Many of them are rich in salts. Salt is rich in sodium that is the responsible for high blood pressure. We don't need that in our bodies. Uh, in addition, many of them maybe can be uh, rich in sugars added like cakes, cookies, all the delicious things, but they are rich in added sugar, so they are not healthy as well because the excess of sugar is the responsible for diabetes. We don't need to be diabetic. So we need to um, change that um, type of snacks that we have. And maybe some, you know, once in a while we are able to eat it. So how has snacking been different since kids are home? Because remember, after or during COVID, kids were almost every day at home. And maybe you don't have kids, but maybe you have adults at home and seniors at home that they are changing their way that they snack. Anybody can tell me what was the difference when they were there? How about you, Miss Lori? Do you snack a lot when you are at home? Maybe another people. Well, do, I do snack a lot at home. Really? What do you I'm, do? I'm learning to Good. snack better because I'm at home a lot. I work at home a lot. And so then you snack while you're at working. Good, good. I understand. But guess what, Miss Lori? You are learning. That is good. Something that is important for us to know is that we can make a platter like the parties. When you go to a party, they have platters with many vegetables and light uh, or fat-free uh, ranch dressing. And you can make a platter with the broccoli, cauliflower, celery, carrots, and also you can add toma uh, tomatoes, uh, cherry tomatoes, and any kind of vegetable that you can eat, like in a salad that you can eat raw, but also you can make another platter in where you can add fruits of any kind. And for dressing, you can eat like um, fat-free or low-fat uh, yogurt. And then you place that in your refrigerator. The first thing that you see when you open your refrigerator is that platter. So you're gonna have the tendency to try that first then the ice cream or the chips and the other things that they are not too healthy at all. Chips can be replaced for uh, unsalted uh, pretzels. It could be replaced with a popcorn without butter or too much salt. Uh, you can replace that chips also. You can have a uh, natural uh, chips. Now uh, you can find beet chips you can find zucchini and squash chips that you can make at home. You also can make chips out of, out of kale and you are the one who control how to make it and how much salt you add it. And they are healthy chips. Uh, say if you're gonna make the uh, kale chips, it's very simple. You wash your kale, you cut in a little pieces then you add a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt. And you mix all that kale with the, those ingredients. And then you can bake uh, in, a, in, your bake, uh, in your oven, I'm sorry, in three, uh, at 350 uh, degrees for maybe 10 minutes. And then that's it. You can eat it uh, hot or you can eat it cold. It's up to you and it's a healthy snack. Okay, so where anybody of you has been seeing this image before? How about you, Miss Lori? 
No. Well, I have been, um, for the longest I have been teaching, always I show this icon that is called my plate because it could be customized according with everyone's desire. It can be Miss Laurie um, plate, it can be Miss Rose plate, it can be Miss Laura plate, or any of you. My plate is the icon that came to replace the pyramid or the food pyramid. And it tell us um, how we will be eating or how we should be eating. It tell us that we should be uh, the, uh, divide our plate in four and um, in four in where uh, the red part of my plate is fruits, the green part of my plates are vegetables, the orange part of my plate is uh, grains, hopefully whole grains. The other part of my plate, which is purple, it represents the protein and we are calling people to try to eat lean protein. That means really, really low fat on it. Lean cuts, meats, lean, um, lean uh, cool cuts, and you can find now in the delicatessen, you can find uh, low fat and low sodium ham in Turkey that you can implement in that. And also you can uh, incorporate beans, any kind, black, pinto, red beans, navy beans that are part of the uh, plant protein and also seeds and nuts. And when it comes to uh, the drink beside, we are incorporating the dairy food group, which uh, represents uh, low fat and fat free milk, low fat and fat free yogurt, low fat and fat free uh, cheese. But in this group is also uh, the ice cream that Miss Lori takes as a snack. As I mentioned before, you can frozen your, your uh, yogurt and then you can uh, have a healthy snack, okay? Then, uh, okay. then you can make your plate according with your desire. So don't forget to try to make your plate very colorful with many kind of fruits. Every single color from fruits and vegetables provides you different vitamins and minerals that are needed for your health. In addition, they are rich in fiber. Fruits, vegetables, and grains, they have different minerals and vitamins, but the three of them, they are rich in fiber. Fiber is the nutrient that helps you with your digestive system to um, break down all the nutrients from your food. So it's very important for us to try to eat uh, mainly these three food groups in a daily basis in every meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay, so when it comes to fruits, we have, see in this picture, we have many different choices of delicious fruits. We have bananas, we have grapes, orange, kiwi, apples, oranges again. And as you see in here, we have green and in red apples. You can also can have red and green uh, grapes. And for those who has a little bit um, of uh, uh, high blood sugar, the recommendation is that you try to uh, eat green grapes, green apples, and very, very um, careful with the bananas. If you are going to eat a banana, try to eat not too ripe, because when um, bananas are ripe, they are full of sugar. They develop all your sugars as they mat mature. So it's important for us to have that in mind. When it comes to the uh, green food group that represent vegetables, as you see in here, we have broccoli, lettuce, we had um, cauliflower, peppers, tomatillo, onions, uh, yellow pepper, this is um, another uh, hot peppers, carrots, etc. Here are cucumbers and, and tomatoes as well. And as you see, they are many different colors that as I mentioned before, every color uh, provides you different minerals and vitamins that they help you with different parts of your body. 
say for example when it comes to yellow and orange yellow and orange uh, fruits and vegetables they provide us vitamin a which is rich uh, is good for our uh, vision when it comes to citrics like orange they are uh, in kiwi as well they are rich in vitamin c that helps you to heal your wounds when it comes to the um, orange food group, which represents uh, grains, we the recommendation is that half of our grains are whole grains, because I, as I mentioned before, they are full of fiber. And the fiber is one of uh, the ones that is um, responsible for the healthy digestive system. As you see in here, we can find different types of pasta excuse me, which is spaghetti, noodles, uh, city, and another type uh, of uh, forms of pasta, but all of them are grains, represents the grains. In addition, we have uh, wild rice, we have uh, also in here, um, um, I forgot the name, um, wheat, this one. Um, oh, that, isn't that quinoa? Uh, no, 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 it's cebada. Uh, I forgot oh, the barley, name. Barley, barley. Barley, barley. Thank you so much, Ms. Rose. So barley, oats, uh, all of them are part of our um, uh, grains. And uh, oats, and as well like uh, wild rice and uh, barley, they are whole grains, important for us to eat it. As you see in here, you can see the difference in color of the city compared with this one. And that means that this dark one is the whole grain pasta or whole grain city. That is the one that we should be eating. I understand that it's sometimes difficult to um, get accustomed to whole grains because we are not accustomed to them. We are accustomed to white rice, white pasta, white bread, and um, Sometimes it's very difficult to get it, you know, to be accustomed. I just want to let you know that it's important for uh, to know that uh, whole grains needs a little more time to be cooked and a little more water to be cooked, you know, because they are complete, a complete grain. Okay, when it comes to the protein food group, which is the purple food group, uh, you can see here many different types of uh, or example, I'm sorry, examples of, um, of um, protein food. We have eggs and a uh, hard boiled eggs is very nutritious, it's very delicious. And it's important for us to have at least three times on the week, okay? We have here salmon, we have shrimp, we have a T-bone steak, which is delicious. But if you can see here, Mm, the T-bone steak is like a marble meat. That means that it has uh, a lot of pieces of fat. And if you have high cholesterol, the recommendation is that be mindful with, uh, mindful, I'm sorry, with um, cool cuts like ham, like uh, chorizos, and also with marble meats because they are loaded with, um, uh, saturated fats, which are responsible for coronary uh, issues. So the recommendation here is to go to lean meats like fish without the skin, like turkey uh, and chicken as well, but without the skin. The skin of the animals are rich of fat and that fat is saturated and is not too healthy. I know it's delicious who can uh, avoid a chicharron or a crunchy skin from a chicken, but they are not too healthy. So maybe it's once in a while we can try it, but not too often. Okay, when it comes to the, uh, I'm sorry, the dairy food group, we have in here a couple samples of them. We have milk, we have yogurt, in this presentation, like kefir that is more liquid or, or a little thicker that is the regular yogurt. You can find now the Greek yogurt that is very thick and very healthy, but not everybody likes a Greek yogurt. You can have Swiss cheese like here. You can have a, like um, uh, unmatured uh, cheese. 
Uh, we can have in here also um, cottage cheese. cheese. Cottage cheese, thank you, which is very delicious. And if you combine with a natural and fresh fruit, you, you have a nice, nice snack. So again, we are looking for a uh, low fat uh, milk. When it comes to adults, uh, um, as we are, we have many recommendations and uh, how much we should be eating from all of uh, our five food groups. And when it comes to fruits, it say that we should be eating two cups of fruits, two and a half of vegetables, six ounces of grains, three cups of dairy, and five and a half ounces of protein. So an example of um, uh, two cups of uh, fruits, it can be uh, one large banana or one cup of tangerines or mandarin oranges. When uh, it comes to vegetables, we can have two cups of raw spinach or one large pepper or one cup of baby carrots. When it comes to grains, six ounces can be one slice of bread, half cup of uh, cooked oatmeal at morning for breakfast or for a snack, one small tortilla or half cup of cooked brown rice. When it comes to dairy, we can have the three cups. It can be one cup of milk, one cup of yogurt, or two ounces of, of cheese, you know, that it can be two slices of cheese. Then when it comes to the protein food group, uh, one uh, five and a half ounces can be one quarter cup of cooked beans. It can be any color that you want, any color of your preference. It can be also one teaspoon of peanut butter. But be careful, try to get the plain peanut butter because sometimes you can have the flavored peanut butter like a honey, honey peanut butter, and it is loaded with sugar. And that sugar don't come from uh, honey, it comes from added sugar that are regular sugar. Also, it can be one hardball egg, and it could be one ounce of tuna fish. So, see, you have many uh, different choices that you can add it uh, to make healthier your uh, snacks. Don't forget to drink plenty of water, hopefully free of sugars, okay? Because sometimes they say flavored water and it comes with a lot of sugar. And also don't forget to be physical active. That means that adults as, as us, we should be uh, having 150 minutes per week in a physical activity like walking, running, biking, maybe gardening is accept to you, but we need to be 150 minutes per week, very physical active. Okay, now I'm going to show you a video about how you can make a yogurt par par um, parfait to make a healthy snack. Please let me know if you are able to hear it. Thank you, Ms. Ron. Making us hungry. Yeah, delicious. Mm. Yes. Yummy. Yummy, yummy, my tummy. Perfect. So, what is a healthy snack? What you can tell me, Miss Lori, about the, the video? Anybody wants to share what is a healthy snack? Do you see anybody raising their hands, Miss Lori, Miss Rose? No, everyone's no. very quiet today. I guess they're hungry. Yes, and, and see, you can add that, you can make that it's like at home. Yes, yes, go ahead. Fruits and vegetables. Very good, yes, fruits and vegetables are very healthy snack. What else? 
How about you, Miss Rose? Um, this particular um, snack is one of my favorites uh, because I love yogurt. And when you eat yogurt, you're eating your dairy foods, which adds um, good vitamins to your body and minerals like calcium, along with vitamin D that we need that together. And then you can be selective and choose whatever food you like. And we know that every color fruits provide you with a different type of vitamin. So by eating this, you're eating two food groups. And if you add any type of nuts, whether it's um, little slivers of almond or walnuts or hazelnuts or even peanuts, then you're adding your protein. And I wanted to make a statement when it comes to snacks, Ms. Laura, can you give me a minute? I will, I will do that. No, go ahead, go ahead, please. Uh, we all know that um, the, our cars need fuel, need gasoline in order to drive. When we run out of gasoline, our car stops. Well, if we would do a, a comparison, the energy to our body is the food we eat. And by eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we eat the basics. However, sometimes we don't provide our body with a full amount of nutrients that it needs to keep going. That's why it's important to snack because we snack in between meals, whether it's between breakfast and lunch, and then we snack usually between lunch and supper. And some people eat an early supper, like five, six, so before they go to bedtime, they want to eat something small. Remember that a snack could be something that fits in our hand. I know it's lovely to get a whole bag of potato chips and watch your wonderful movie, your favorite show, but let's be mindful and let's read the nutrition facts label. If it says only 12 chips, let's get that and get it out of our sight. So snacking is very important sometimes in our busy lives. And you know them, Ms. Laura, you and I, and I'm sure Ms. Lori and, and a lot of the participants, we don't take the time to take that small snack. And you can see from this presentation, Ms. Laura, um, that you're doing, that we can snack on anything that fits on my plate. Perfect. Thank you, Ms. Rose. Yes. Uh, the invitation is oh. that you try to be mindful because as Ms. Rose said, it's not another meal. It's a small portion of any healthy choices that you can make, uh, especially fruits and vegetables in raw presentation, because guess what? Sometimes we lack in uh, eating fruits. Uh, we don't eat enough fruits and we don't eat enough um, vegetables because maybe we are not accustomed to do that. So one way to incorporate them into our daily basis uh, diet is in, in, uh, in your snacking time. As Ms. Rose mentioned, it's many people that they get up really, really early, but they don't feel too hungry to get a big meal. So you can have a small cup of maybe oatmeal or maybe Delicious. a cup of fruits. Yes, a cup of fruits. But guess what? You can make a combination between uh, oatmeal and fruits. In that, you in that case, you have two groups. But if you add... Um, almonds or any kind of nuts or, of gran or granola as well, you are incorporating another group into your little snack. And guess what? When you snack between meals, uh, you, are, you have the tendency to eat less during your lunch or a big meal. Why? Because your stomach is still full. When we have to, uh, like a period too long, between breakfast and lunch and we don't eat anything in between and we don't drink water and we don't drink anything also in between, we are starving. When it is the time to eat the next meal, you, you are going to be, um, uh, how do you say, uh, too hungry and you are going to eat with anxiety. And right. that time, the anxiety is one of the things that made you gain weight. Nobody wants to gain weight because it's not healthy. So it's important for us to have that in mind. A small portion in between me big meals made your tummy feel a little uh, full. So when is the next meal, you are not going to eat that much. Okay, so we have an example in here about uh, two, uh, you know, two different um, good choices um, of snacks. So what protein, dairy, or grain food would you choose to pair these with a with one of these examples, so what would you like to use to pair uh, to pair this this snack? 
this apple. How about you, Miss Rose? I personally like each of those with peanut butter. Excellent, creamy, excellent creamy peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Excellent choice. But say, for example, you are allergic to peanut butter. It's another kind of butter that you can find in the market, like almond butter. They are a little pricey, but you are able to do it. However, sometimes uh, my kids used to pair banana with applesauce. Yes. It's delicious and very nutritious. Uh, they used to uh, pair uh, apples with a uh, yogurt, you know, uh, or they chop and put in um, with the cottage cheese, but also they uh, add something else, you know, not only the apple. So now how about uh, this vegetable? With what do you like to pair carrots or celery? How about you, Ms. Rose? Um, I like both of them with low fat ranch dressing. Excellent, excellent. It's delicious and nutritious. Again, uh, I like these two uh, with um, Greek yogurt. Uh, and I try to make um, um, chop a little chives and mix with the yogurt. And it's so delicious, delicious and nutritious. I'll try that, Ms. Laura, because that sounds delicious. Yes, it's very delicious. And, and it's, um, it replaces a little bit the, the dressings because the dressing sometimes they have a little fat. The Greek yogurt is so good. Yes. How about the applesauce and the frozen berries? How did you like to pair that? Hmm. Good question, huh? Yeah, it's interesting to know. I've never had it, but I'm sure if you put those berries inside the applesauce, it could be it delicious. Could. Yes, you can pair these too. However, as I told you, I like to um, I like to pair the berries with yogurt. And I like to pair the applesauce with cottage cheese, with a low-fat cottage cheese. I don't know if it's um, something that I like it. Um, and I and I used to eat it when I was uh, pregnant of my kids. They they recommend that mix. That's why I try it. So maybe you can try and see if you like it. Okay, tell me what makes hard to eat healthier snacks. How about you, Miss Lori? What makes difficult to you to make a healthier snack? Can you hear her, Ms. Rose? No, um, it's very difficult to hear. Um, I have one that may make it difficult. Oh, we hear Go that. ahead, tell us. Uh, maybe time constraints. Yes. Yes, yes, you're right. Time is sometimes difficult. Anybody else? Um, I, I hear someone in the distance, but I cannot understand what that person say. Yes, as the participants say, um, time, time is sometimes very difficult, it you is. know, makes difficult to make healthy snacks. But if you plan your, your week and you make uh, your grocery shopping, uh, it's important that you include in your list healthy snacks. For example, um, buy some fruits that are already frozen, that are cut, clean, and they are frozen. So it's easier for you to uh, avoid the cleaning part because you don't have enough time. Uh, a banana is easy to buy it. In carry it because it, it's already packed you know it comes with the, the package incorporate same oranges or tangerines so it's only um, the matter of include healthy snacks in your grocery shopping for another people the difficulty is it comes when is the transportation because many of us they we don't have transportation so we are very limited with uh, the shopping when it comes to shop because Many people don't bring us a, a ride when we have too many package. So maybe for those people, it's important to, to be mindful how you can eat it, how you can incorporate it, and how you're going to, uh, you know, uh, be transported with all your shopping, <coughs> with your grocery shopping. Okay, in here we have one tip, how you can make your own snack 
instead of buying snacks already packed because sometimes the money, they are so expensive when they come packed, pre-packed, but also they come with many ingredients that are not healthy. So maybe if you put in, you write down in your list, in your grocery list, you can have tortilla, low-fat string cheese that also it comes in pre-packed and it's easier to carry. And maybe it's light apples. So that way you can have a healthy snack. And if uh, sometimes um, you, you can cut your, your apples, uh, but I know and I understand it, they can turn a little darker because the oxidation of the uh, nutrients, but maybe you can choose a small apple and you can carry your small apple in your, in your uh, lunch box or in, your, uh, in a special bag, you know, in a Ziploc bag. And then you have a nice snack in there and healthy, that is important. Another healthy snack is uh, not only for kids, I'm, 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 I have to tell you, not only I love kids, that one, you know that. <laughs> yes, that is very healthy. And the way that we make is with whole wheat toast, or maybe you don't need to toast your bread, uh, but they, be, be careful that it's a whole uh, wheat, you know? A, a couple of slices of bananas and uh, a cup of uh, low fat or fat free milk. That is a healthy uh, snack. Again, you don't need to eat the whole piece, the whole bread, the way that I did with my kids when they are little. I flip, uh, you know, I cut in half uh, one slice of bread and that is enough, like a healthy snack. And one banana feeds three people in, as a snack, you know? And again, uh, just uh, one cup of milk, which is very good and delicious and nutritious. So what do you think, what is next you are going to incorporate today or this week or the following two weeks? What is next that you learned today? Which one do you like to incorporate this week in your um, snacking time? Anybody can tell us? Can you hear them, Ms. Rose? No, very far. It's like a very yeah. far echo. I do apologize. We are not able to hear you. Anybody else? How about you, Ms. Rose? What do you uh, like to try new this week? Well, um, I haven't tried in a while the tortilla with the sliced apples and the cheese. And, you know, I'm a cheese lover. And I love the combination of apples and cheese and and when we compare the how much money we save and how healthier it is to make our own, because when we buy a package of tortilla and we don't need to buy the big tortillas, we save a lot of money and they do come in packs sometimes 10, 20, depending on your family size. Uh, you mm -hmm. can actually be creative with those tortillas. You could do the apples and the cheese. Maybe you have a little chicken left and you can do yourself a quesadilla with chicken and a little cheese even if you have a little beef. So it's being creative, but the message is that we need to snack. And sometimes we get so, we, 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 you know, we dive into our busy lives that we don't take that 15 minute break, even at home, just to eat something light before we go to lunch in two hours. So we have our afternoon uh, meal. Thank yes. you, Ms. Laura. No, thank you, Ms. Rose. I don't know if you can see this picture, Ms. Rose. Can I, the one that I'm showing in, in, in um, um, you see it like with lines. Yeah. Oh, okay. So let me, when we finish, I'm going to share with you some of the snacks that we have at home with my kids. And now they are teenagers and they like an adults now. So, okay. I would like to uh, encourage everyone that try to eat um, healthy snacks and try to make interesting for you. As many colors you can incorporate it is, is going to make you uh, hungry and you want to, to try it, you know? Okay, so I already say that. Any questions? Any comments? Oh, it's so sorry that I cannot hear properly. I, I, I know someone tried to participate, but it's really, really far away their voice. Okay, so I want to invite everyone to try this week something new. 
As I mentioned before, this is uh, my plate and you can find different recipes and the different topics about health. Say, for example, if you have any condition, you can uh, look for recipes according with your uh, condition in uh, choosemyplate.gov or you can use the my plate app like uh, choosemyplate.gov is large is start simple app and then they can tell you about fruits vegetables grains protein and dairy what uh, kind of recipe you can use according with your uh, kind of life your age your gender your physical activity you have um infinite choices in there then also, you can have a Cooking Matters app in with Cooking uh, Matters, uh, the, the video that we watch uh, come from Cooking Matters. With the app and download in your um, uh, cell phone, you can find many recipes also according with your um, ethnicity because we have uh, many cultures down here that we can try different things. Maybe we can never try before. So you can find in there the main meals, but also uh, snacks. So you can find many different um, uh, activity and recipe resource in Cooking Matters in Facebook, uh, which is cookingmatters.org, Cooking Matters at Home, okay? Also, please don't forget to follow us in uh, Facebook, like uh, this is the link, in our family nutrition program.org, which is our uh, website, or follow us in um, Instagram. This is our, they are the um, social media. So thank you so much uh, for um, sharing with us. Thank you so much for participating. And let me see if I can show you, oh, hold on, the picture about. Um, oh, yes, that looks delicious, Miss Laura. What is it? Uh, this is a waffle, it's a waffle, and on top it has uh, sliced bananas. On top of the bananas, we have strawberries, we have blueberries and blackberries. We have in here a herbal egg, and in here a, a, a cheese, the baby, I forgot the name of that cheese. Yes, that I know, the little round ones. Correct. So that is a big meal. But because don't forget that um, I have teenagers, so they eat a lot. But you can have that as a breakfast and half of that portion as a snack. So it's Thanks accepted to you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. Thank you, Miss Lori. I do apologize for all the inconvenience we have today, but all of you know how internet is a little tricky on these days. Thank you for participating. And again, I do apologize if we don't hear any of you, but I don't know what happened with our uh, sound. Thank you, Ms. Rose, for, uh, for collaborating with us. Oh, you're welcome. And see Laura. you in two weeks. Thank, Thank you so you much. Guys. Have a good Hope one. Every, everybody had a great Mother's Day last Sunday. So remember, make those good choices. See you soon. Bye, everyone.